Hey guys, so today I'm here with my June's favorite. Oh my god. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be filming my June favorites. And um, I have a wide selection of products here, but we're gonna start with the makeup, ease our way into hair and skin, and then I also have a couple pairs of shoes just because shoes are necessary in a June favorites video. So. Here we go, we'll start with some foundation. I have the Clinique Acne Solutions. Um, this was a little expensive, but it was so worth it. It lasts a long time. I've had this for like four or five months now. It's amazing. I know it's a June favorites, but like I've been using it a lot this month. So I thought it was necessary to incorporate, incorporate, to incorporate in this video. Um, it's long wear, it's full coverage, it's amazing. Another foundation that's like it, that might be not as pricey, is the CoverGirl Nature Lux. It's the one with Taylor Swift as the commercial. That's how I recognized it. It works the same. It's only a little more dewy finish instead of more matte. That can easily be finished with, I mean finished, can be fixed with some powder. Um, the powder I'll be showing you is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm in Medium Plus, if you wanted to know. Um, very good powder. I would definitely recommend this. Again, a little more pricey, but I've had it for a long time and I haven't hit pan yet. So, I would definitely recommend that. I got this as a sample for my birthday a while back. My birthday was in February. But this is the Benefit What's Up. And it looks like this has cute little light bulbs on it. I think I used it in a tutorial before. But it's, um, a highlight. And it looks like this, and it comes in this cute little package. And I just put it on my finger, and then I put it on my highlight, and under my brow bone. Oh my, what's in my eye? Another thing I'm going to be showing you is these Tarte blushes. I love these. Oh my gosh, it's the Amazonian clay ones. I recently used Magic in my last, no, not my last tutorial, but the one before that. The one's Birds of Paradise. And this is just such a pretty, like, coral color. Um, this is what it looks like. And the other one I have is fantastic, and it's this beautiful bubblegum pink. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty with like every look. These two blushes alone go with everything. Any eye look I could possibly create, it goes with. So, very versatile. <clears throat> Another thing I've been loving recently is red lipstick. I don't know what it is, but I've just been loving a red lip. I also use this in Birds of Paradise. It's the red, it's the Vamp Red. Um, I got this at Hair Hair. I know it's not everywhere, but I got that there, and it was only like a dollar fifty, I think. And it's just the perfect blue undertone red. I just love it because the other one I had was a little glittery, and it was warm undertone. But this one's just perfect. Another product I've been using a lot is my Nivea Olive Oil and Lemon Chapstick. This stuff is a lifesaver. It works. Um, like I hit the bottom of it. This is this is all I have left. But this stuff is amazing. It leaves your lips so soft and smooth. So I would definitely recommend that. And I just picked it up at CVS, so it's pretty accessible. And also, I think like for nail polish, I've been loving to do my nails lately. I don't know what it is about. Maybe it's something in the weather that makes me want to do my nails. But now I have on a blue, just so you can see. Um, the one I have here is from Ulta, and it's called Goddess, and it's just the absolute perfect, like, sheer nude color. I, it's just, I love it. it. Another thing that goes along with nails is the Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. This stuff, oh my gosh. It smells like heaven. I don't even... It makes your cuticles so nice. I used to have ripped up, like, cuticles because I used to bite my nails. But once I started using this, I made my nails so smooth and like healthy and I would definitely recommend that. If you're like me and you like to do makeup and you definitely like to touch your face or like to touch different products or whatever, it's important that your hands are clean. I definitely have these lying around. I have the Bath and Body Works. They're like the pocket antibacterial little, little hand sanitizers and they come in different scents. And this one's Island Nectar and it's just so useful and I just keep it on my little vanity over there and it's just perfect for like in between makeup looks so that way I'm not a mess. But my last makeup product it seems, it's not even really makeup, 
It's my finishing spray or setting spray. It's the Urban Decay D Slick. It's oil control makeup setting spray. This is what it looks like, this cool tie-dye packaging. Um, it's by Scandinavia. I don't know if that's more known to you. But this stuff is... It says, D Slick is your ally against oil and shine. Since I have oily skin, this stuff is a lifesaver before and after your foundation. You apply this, or you spray it on, and then you continue, and it keeps you kind of not as oily throughout the day. And it does what it says it would, and it works phenomenally. So now we're moving on to like skin, and I have a couple hair products here. So I'll start with my cleanser, and I've been flopping back and forth between like a bunch of different cleansers that I have lying around. But I always end up going back to this one because it works. It's the one that really works for me. It's the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. I have it in normal oily because like I said, I have oily skin. And this stuff is just amazing. It does not dry your skin out, but it also helps with acne. I don't know, it just works for my skin. It just clears me up a lot. So I would definitely recommend this if you're struggling and going back and forth between cleansers and don't know what to try. This is just a simple, everyday cleanser. I would definitely recommend it. So now I have another cleanser here that one of the many I just flip back and forth through. It's a clean and clear morning burst. This is the detoxifying facial cleanser. They're oil free. And this is just the blue one. I also like the orange one, but the, um, the orange one, I think that's just a deep cleanser, but it's so nice to wake up to. It smells like fruity and fresh. I don't have it on me because I think I used it up, but it's really nice. So I would, def I would definitely recommend the morning bursts. They're really nice. I would recommend the Cetaphil over the morning burst. So if you had an option, I would pick this first. Um, now we'll move on. Oh, my last skin product is the Clear Silk Rapid Action Pads. So this is like, we're not messing around. This is 2% salicylic acid. It says it works in 4 hours to visibly reduce pimple size and redness. And this is what it looks like. You unscrew it and it's these little, like, like pad things that you just wipe over your face. And it exfoliates and cleans out all the gunk. Of course you would want to wash your face first with something simple and then this will treat and that way it just works together so perfectly. Um, this is my latest, oh my god I love this product so much, this is the Vaseline Spray and Go Moisturizer. I can't tell you how many times this saved me, this stuff is amazing. It says moisturizes in seconds so you can put your clothes right on, it's like if you're in a rush, like let's say your elbows or your knees, if, since it's warm out, you're probably wearing shorts or short sleeve or just anything. I just love this stuff because it works so fast and it absorbs and it's not like greasy or like disgusting. This stuff is just light and fresh feeling. I have the aloe one. I know there's also cocoa butter and I forget the other one, but it's like yellow bottle. But this one's the green one. I would definitely recommend this. And now I have my deodorant. I know it's something so simple that people neglect in their like favorites videos because they think it's like so obvious. But I would really recommend the secret line. I have it in the invisible solid because I don't really like the gel ones. But this is impassioned de tango, so it's like mango-y. And this stuff is actually really good. Since you're Summer, since it's summer, you're gonna be outside a lot. You're gonna be sweaty. I don't know if you go to camp, run around. I don't know if you're like, um, you don't want pit stains, you don't want a funk, you want something that'll keep you smelling fresh. And that way, when, when you sweat, you don't smell like sweat, you smell like your deodorant, which means it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So, I would definitely get this. Works like it says it should. Um, now on to my two hair products. I have the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. So it looks like this, it's a really cool bottle. Um, it's a heat tamer, so you put it in before you straighten your curl. Um, I just like putting this in in general because it makes my hair so soft and so silky. I just like this product. I don't even have to be applying heat, I don't usually apply heat. But this stuff is just, oh my gosh, it's amazing. It smells so good too, so that's a plus. Um, the other hair product I have is by Ozzy. It's the Moist 3 Minute Miracle. It's a deep treatment and it um, conditions and revitalizes. 
So this is what it looks like. It has a really weird bottle. You just It doesn't have like a cap. You just squeeze and it comes out. Um, I don't know about the bottom. I don't know. It's really confusing to me. Um, but this stuff is so nice. I just use it as a conditioner every day. And now on to my two pairs of shoes. One for every day, one for like occasion I would say. So I recently got the Bobos from Urban Outfitters and they were like on a 2 for 30 sale. So I got one really cool pattern, like these are rainbow, kind of Aztec-y. And then I also got a plain black pair so I can switch up the laces and make it really cool for a day out or with a skirt or something. But these are just, like I needed sneakers that are sturdy and good to go anywhere and like just to run around in. And then I also got these heels on sale. They're Vince Camuto. I believe I got them, I want to say Macy's. I want to say Macy's, but um, this is what they look like. They're neon and gray, chunky heel. They're just so comfortable. I don't know if it's the shape or the make, I don't know. So comfortable, and the style is so cool. I would just... And they weren't that expensive. I would definitely recommend checking out like your local like clearance or sale section for shoes. You don't know what you're going to find. And it's usually not as bad as you think, so I would definitely recommend going and checking that out. So that will conclude my June favorites. And I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you click subscribe. And if you like this video, or if you didn't like this video, let me know down below by clicking like or, or a thumbs up or thumbs down button. And also make sure to comment video requests. Uh, video requests. I always love to hear what you want to see so I can make videos based on what you want to watch because I'm always here for my subscribers. So have a wonderful July and I'll be back with more videos. I'll be back on Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday. And if I come up with any other videos that I feel are necessary to post or if you want me to post any others, I shall do so. So thank you so much for watching and bye bye.